Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. For today's video, I thought it would be fun to review a pair of lashes that I actually bought a while back, but they've been sitting in my lash drawer and I completely forgot about them until I started like digging through my drawers to get products for a different video. And then I saw these and I was like, oh my God, I totally forgot I bought those. So I'm gonna do a review of them for you. It is the Ardell Aqua Lashes. So like water lashes, which is something I've never tried before. So I thought it would be fun to do it with you guys on camera. So that's what today is gonna be all about. Before we get into it, please, please give this video a big thumbs up for me and subscribe to my channel. Really helps me out and you get three videos a week, so do not miss out. But if you wanna see my review of these lashes, stay tuned for the rest of the video. All right guys, like I said, I've never tried anything like this before. Aqua lashes is something totally different to me. It says water activated lash band. So I thought that was really, really like intriguing. I don't know how that would work. So I thought it would be fun to try. Honestly though, I don't know how I forgot about these. I could have sworn I was gonna film a video on them and then I guess I never did. Anyways. So these are gonna be something new to me and I just wanted to do it with you guys. So I have it pulled up online. I will say these were a little bit harder to find. I got these at Ulta, I remember specifically, but I didn't see them on the Ulta website. So I wonder if they like don't sell them there anymore. I don't know, I don't know what's going on. So if anyone else knows, let me know in the comments. But I saw them on like Walgreens and Amazon and then I'm looking at them on Target's website as well, but I don't know if you could get them or not. We'll see. But it seems like there's certain places that you could get them. So we're just gonna try them out. Basically, they go for $5.29 on Target's website, which is where I'm looking, because I like the description box that it has on them. So $5.29, it's one pack. I have the Ardell Aqua 341 false eyelashes, and obviously it's just one pair in here. So the Description says Aqua Lashes 341 gives you stunning lashes in seconds without glue. Thanks to a patent pending water activated band, no additional adhesive is needed. Three simple steps, trim to fit, dip in water and apply. Ideal for beginners or anyone in a rush. Soft, fine, tapered fibers blend in with your own lashes. The black band creates an eye-defining liner effect. Choose from a variety of shapes, volumes, and lengths for every day. Aqua lashes, no tape, no glue, no hassle. It says 100 natural hairs, one in the pack, full volume, self-adhesive. But yeah, basically one pair. Let's see if it says anything different on here. But it shows you on the back that it's basically like dip it in water and then apply. So I do have like a little bowl that I filled with water that I'm probably just gonna like take the lashes and dip into the water bowl and then apply. And I have some tweezers in case I need to like trim these cause I feel like they are gonna be a little bit long for me. So I am pretty nervous about this, you guys. I've never done anything like this. I hope it's good. So we'll see, but I'm just gonna open this package up and we can take a look at what the lashes look like. They just look like regular lashes. Like I feel like they don't look any different, so that's good. But the bands are definitely very, very long. So let me see if they're easy to take off of here. So weird. It almost looks like there's like glue on it already and they feel like stiff. Oh my gosh, that is super weird. I've never felt a lash like this. Like it feels Diff. Let me see if it says anything about like if you're supposed to dip it and then cut it. No, I think you're supposed to like measure it first and then dip it in the water and then apply, but it feels just so like look at this. There's like hardly any bend to it. It feels super like rough. Like I, I can't even say it feels like a rubber band because it feels harder than that. I don't even know how to explain it. But I am just gonna trim. Let me see though. I guess it'll go this way, but this is definitely way too long for me. So I'm gonna trim a little bit off of this edge, maybe like one or two of these little things. 
All right, I took one of these or two, two of the little squares off. And then I'm just gonna trim like the long edge on the other side off cause it like extends out further than where the lash ends. So I'm just gonna like take that off. And now we have a regular sized lash, I would say. Let me see if this, yeah, this seems like it's more suitable for me. So I'm gonna take my tweezers and just hold the edge and then I'm gonna dip it in my little bowl of water and let's see what happens. Uh, okay, I did dip like probably more than I was supposed to, but let's just put it on and we'll talk. Okay, that one is not working for me for whatever reason. Let me take the other lash and I'm gonna try to dip it like a little bit less in the water. Maybe I did too much. So I'm gonna try to do the same thing with this other eyelash, like clip off the same amount on both sides here and also dip a little bit less in the water because that one legit did not stick whatsoever. So let me trim. We're gonna try it one more time. Let's see if this goes better for us. Okay, I am not really understanding. Neither one is sticking at all. There's like no movement to them. Like these are like rock hard. And it says 12 months. There's no way I got these more than a year ago. So I know they're not like expired. I don't really understand. Let me like try one more time. I don't really know what's going on here. It's like somewhat sticking, but not really. Like it sticks more to my finger than it does to like my eyelashes. Even like the skin on my eyelids, like it's not sticking. Oh, I guess a little bit. It's sticking a little bit, but I'm gonna have to say no, honestly, just I can't even get them both on. And it's very stressful. I feel like for being a product that's supposed to be very easy to use, it's really not. Like just from the start, like you look at them, they're extremely long, like they go out way past where the lash ends, so you do have to trim them regardless. But there's like no movement to them. Like this legit is rock hard. It's like, I feel like if it did stick on my eyes, it would be really, really uncomfortable to wear because it's so sticky, or not sticky, sorry, it's so hard. So I feel like that would be so uncomfortable just like right on top of your eyelashes to wear like that. So I really don't like that. And the band honestly is very thick and it has this like, thick clear line on top of it which I feel like you could easily see when it's like on your eyes so regardless it looks fake and it doesn't work at least not for me I don't know if I'm doing it wrong if any of you have tried this and it's worked for you and you love it let me know but this is just like not going well for me at all it's not sticking it's not doing what it's supposed to do obviously I'm not wearing them so I couldn't get them to stay on like they just weren't, it wasn't happening. Like not even on my eyelid, not even on my lashes, like nothing. So honestly, now I see that I didn't really miss out on the fact that I didn't use them sooner. So it's gonna be a no from me and now I can kind of see why I can't find them on Ulta anymore because I know that's where I bought them. But now I can see why I can't find them anymore because they're not very good. So I, love the concept I feel like if that did work for me I would really like it because it, it's so easy just dip it in water and put it on your eyelashes and you're good to go but it really did not work at all so hard hard pass from me I will stick 
to my Glamnetic Magnetic Lashes because those are the best of the best. This is a no for me. So that is it for today. Hope you guys enjoyed. I still enjoyed the video even though the product didn't work for me, but just let me know your thoughts. Let me know if I'm doing something wrong too because everything is trial and error. So just let me know. Let me know what else you guys want to see from me. Give this a big thumbs up and please subscribe to my channel, but stay tuned and I will see you guys in the next video.